So today I am filming in my kid's room because she's currently occupying the living. We have a very small apartment, so she's in the living room right now. I asked her if I could use her room. She's like, oh, I guess. I've been wanting to kind of share with you guys my current uh, reading situation. So I love to read. I think I've mentioned that um, a couple of vlogs ago that I really like to read on my spare time. Um, I normally prefer to read actual like physical books. Uh, there's something about just flipping through the pages like physically and it's just very, very satisfying to me. So when I'm not usually in a position to kind of like sit down and like have that extra time to myself because mom life is crazy and most of the time I am pretty busy but um yeah I don't always have the time to kind of just like sit down with my book and just be in a place where it's just like quiet so in moments like those where I'm just like very busy but I'm really in the mood to read I have this app called Libby, I think that's what it's called, and you're able to just connect your local library card to the app and it allows you to just download, or not download, but just rent out books, like check out books and stuff, um, and it just puts it on your library card. So I really love to utilize um, audiobooks in that way. So if I'm really in the mood to read and I just don't have the extra time to kind of just sit down and have that time to myself, go ahead and just pop my little earbud in and uh, I end up listening to an audiobook that way. So like I said, I prefer to sit down and read a physical book because it's just like much more satisfying to me. But when I can't do that, um, it really helps to listen to an audiobook. And I found like a new love for that. Um, I'm very excited actually because I was talking to my friend Catherine and we decided to do a little book exchange. Catherine, if you're watching this, I still have not sent this book out. I am the worst. I'm going to send it out. I it's right here. And I put it back on my shelf and that is the reason why it got lost amongst all the, the other books. So I'm going to send it out this week. So I'm not going to say the name of it because in case she watches this and I upload this before I send it, <laughs> I don't want her to see what it is. But yeah, the point of this is I'm gonna wrap it up, ship it to her, she'll get it. And it's just kind of a book exchange from our own personal libraries that we feel that the other will enjoy reading. So yeah, she's supposed to be sending me a book from her library as well. And I'm super excited to see what she ends up sending me. But yeah, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I'm currently reading as well as what I've already finished that I'm kind of just revisiting. So every year I kind of just like to revisit certain books. I am currently revisiting. It's called Prolix. Um, this is written by a friend of mine. I met her on Instagram. I've never met her in person, but she is so wonderful. Um, and about a year and a half ago, she asked me if I could create a book cover for her, so like some artwork. So this is actually something that I created. Um, it's very minimal. And she had mentioned to me that she wanted to create this book uh, surrounded by the ups and downs that we go through life. I just really wanted to create something that was very minimal. Um, so yeah, I ended up landing on this and it was just so surreal to kind of see this come to life. Uh, I had sent her the final image and then she sent this my way and I was just in tears to see this. I really hope I get the chance to meet her in person one day. Julia, if you're watching this, I love you. Thank you so much. Um, this is definitely one that I revisit very often on my list and on my bookshelf. Okay, so moving on into the books that I've got on my recently read list. Um, so guys, I just like go through books um, and I'm honestly, I don't even know how I have the time most of the time. Like, like I said, audiobooks help a lot. So The Beauty in the Breaking by Michelle Harper 
is such a powerful book. I really love this. Uh, this is a memoir that I really enjoyed. I was able to go through this book fairly quickly. It was definitely one of those books that I just couldn't put down. I just kept, you know, going through it very quickly. So this book was so amazing. I gave it a five star rating. Um, it was so beautiful. It was heartbreaking all at the same time. Michelle Harper is a doctor that works in a hospital in the ER and she basically just like retells the story of what she went through working in the ER and the people that came in and basically the paths that she crossed with certain individuals and some of the stories were a little bit easier to read and some other ones were just so heartbreaking and so eye-opening to in a lot of ways I'd say there's a couple of trigger warnings in this so if you do pick this up uh just be aware of that And then the other book that I actually recently finished reading is Beach Read by Emily Henry. So this book I have been reading since last year. It was kind of a book that kind of took me a little longer to read. I'm not gonna lie. I have a very bad habit of kind of just having like four to five books like that I'm currently reading at once. I can't just like have one book. That I'm currently reading like I have to have like five <laughs> so it's just like I kind of just like gravitate towards a specific book like during a certain season depending on how I'm feeling so yeah depending on how I'm feeling I'll kind of gravitate towards one book more and then I'll just kind of like read that and I'm like oh yeah I'm reading this other book so so yeah Beach Read is a great book I really really love this book so much in the last month I would say I couldn't put it down anymore so yeah it was one of those books where it's just like it was amazing from beginning to end and it really hooked me in I just finished it I think maybe like two weeks ago so yeah i would give it a five star rating i really enjoyed this a lot even if it took me a little long to read yeah it was amazing and um i would definitely recommend for you to pick it up i definitely felt like it was like a movie where i was just like going through it i caught myself like envisioning these characters in my mind and i got just very attached to both of the characters in this read so the last book on my recently read list is beautiful boy by david chef uh this book was another book that took me quite some time to finish i kept having to put it down and taking breaks not because i didn't enjoy it but because it was just very emotional. The book is basically uh, written by David Schaff, which is, he's the author, and he's also telling the story from his perspective about what it was like uh, to watch his son struggle through addiction. He did an excellent job at captivating the reader and giving you a glimpse into what it's like to deal, or not deal, but just watch somebody you love so much struggle through addiction and I feel like addiction is a very touchy subject and um, I found myself struggling through this book for personal reasons and um, I honestly loved it so much because I feel like most of the time I, I want to read books like these that are very raw and very touching and where I can relate a little bit to. There is another book that's also on my reading list uh, where it's actually uh, the perspective of the son going through the addiction. So this is the father's per perspective and then there's another book that was written by his son um, where it tells a story about what it was like for him to go through this. So yeah, very powerful perspectives um, on addiction. And I feel like this book is incredibly triggering. So if you're somebody um, like me that kind of relates um, in this specific area, I would say just kind of proceed with caution uh, when you pick this book up. If you decide to, uh, please be aware that there's a lot of triggers and it does deal with a lot of addiction issues. And um, if you get through this book, I'd love to talk to you about it um, and get your perspective on it. So yeah, wonderful read. I loved it so much. It was incredibly raw um, and I really appreciate that. 
uh, vulnerability in the author. I would definitely revisit this one, but it's probably going to take some time for me to pick it up again. But I am, I actually found this book in a little tiny library when I was walking with my friend down the neighborhood one time. So yeah, it was a one that I had on my list for a while and it was just a lucky find and I'm just really happy that I came across it. So last but not least, what I'm currently reading, when it comes to like actual like physical reads, I have two that I'm currently reading. I have my favorite author, Stephen King. Um, I started this one recently. This is actually the second time, so I guess it should have been part of my revisited list. Um, I've read this one already once, but it was several years ago, and I'm revisiting it again. So this is Stephen King's Everything's Eventual. I love this one so much. It's a bunch of short stories of his, um, and it's just incredible. I could sit here all day and tell you about why I love him so much. But yeah, this is a great read. I've had it forever. As you can tell, the pages are just so dirty. Uh, the book is very old. I love the way it smells, um, weird like that. So <laughs> yeah, I'm currently reading this. I'm, I think on the third short story in this book so far, and I just love it. So I'm taking my time on it cause is she thick and we love that, so yeah. And then the second one on my currently reading list is The House by the Sea by Mae Sarton. I really love the fact that it really is just like a bunch of journal entries and it's a true story so it just has like every beginning has like basically just like a journal entry so it's a date in there and it's dated back to the I want to say the series I honestly don't know um this is one of those books you guys that I'm just kind of like that I put down and then bring back up. I got this book on Depop actually. There's this account that I follow on Depop that just sells a bunch of books whether they're vintage books or new books and I've bought several actually from her and I'll definitely include the link to her account on Depop below so you guys can check her out but this book was actually one that I ended up just liking based on the cover. It's just, um, it has like a C and it's like just black and white and it just looked very eerie and vintage and I really liked it. Um, so this is one book that I was just kind of like, okay, I'll check it out and see if I like it. And I actually really do. Um, it's just a journal entry. Um, I don't want to give too much away from it, but it's just about a woman that is um, has reached an old age and she ended up just moving away, I think, to Maine and she lives by the sea by herself and she kind of just like spends her days in this big house by herself and she writes about her friends that have passed on and it's a little sad sometimes, but I really enjoy this book a lot and it's a slow read out. I'm about halfway on it so far, halfway through, but I really like it. If you guys get a chance to check it out, um, please do. It's really nice so far. Um, so apart from all these books, um, the only other one that I'm currently reading so far is an audiobook because I don't own it physically, but I plan to buy it. And I'm halfway through it right now and I love it and I just know that I have to have this for my collection. So right now I am currently reading or listening <laughs> the audiobook of I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. You guys, this book is very challenging to read. Um, a lot of triggers as well. Um, I feel like I have a tendency to check out books that have a lot of triggers. So any book that I usually recommend is probably going to have a lot of triggers in them. She's doing an excellent job in just telling her story and I know that that is not easy to do, um, being that vulnerable and being that open, but this book is just incredible. I am so happy that I finally started um, to read it. I definitely want to buy it soon just to have for my own personal collection and revisit it sometime but it's so, so wonderful. That's the one that I'm currently, that's taking up most of my time. So whenever I'm cooking or when I'm cleaning, I tend to just pop an earbud in and just listen to it. So I'm about halfway through right now and I'm just really been enjoying it so much. So if you have a chance, make sure to pick it up. But yeah, so I, 
didn't think I was gonna end up talking so much and I really don't know how much I'm gonna be babbling on when I'm editing this, but so sorry if you're not here for the book content, but if you are, I'm so glad you're here. Um, I could talk about books all day. If you are a fellow book lover, please comment below. Um, I'm also going to link my Goodreads account below because I tend to update that pretty frequently and that way you can just kind of stay up to date with what I'm currently reading, what I've already read, uh, my readings on certain books, and what I plan to read. You guys, if you're not enjoying a book, I feel like if you're picking out a book and you're not enjoying what you're reading, put it down. It's okay. It's okay to say, hey, this isn't for me. <laughs> because there's definitely books where like I've forced myself to kind of flip through the pages. I'm just like, I'm just not enjoying this and that's okay. I would say just fill your life and your days and the time that you do get by yourself with books that you love, that books where you can't put them down and you just continue to just flip through the pages. Um, life is too short to read shitty books, y'all. I mean, Pour yourself some coffee and read one of these suckers and enjoy it. I just wanted to pop in and say hey. I hope that you guys are having a great start to your November so far. Um, my mom, it's a kind of cold day today and I'm in a sweater. An oversized sweater that makes me feel like it's giving me a big old hug so um, I guess I will just finish this off here I am including a couple clips of me getting my friend Catherine's book kind of wrapped up and ready to be shipped in the next clips so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys to that I'm just gonna end it here and yeah i hope that you guys have a great rest of your week right now it is actually sunday so i guess it's just starting guys i'm all mixed up i don't even know who i am today i hope that you guys have a great week and yeah but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you guys in the next one bye